So now this time you can tell what the difference is. So go around, dodge a zombie, hits me once, hits me twice and then I'm down instantly, even though we still had Juggernaut so it should have taken 4 to 5 hits. What's up guys, welcome to the video. This is going to be a new series where I dive into the mysteries and confusing features of Call of Duty Zombies that no one really fully understood unless you looked into the code and that's what we're going to do. So we're starting with World.War and this video is going to be on Jug, Regen, the Wonderwolf and how do these features actually work and what are some of the bugs that can... Okay, so for context, when you download the mod tools, you get a folder of all the script files in Call of Duty World at War, and so I'm going to be able to look in through the code and see exactly what was happening. Now it's cool because in the code there's lots of funny stuff and cut content that you can read about, and so I'll go over some of that in future videos, but for now, let's start where it began. We start with Verrucked. Treyarch introduced the perks here. One of which perks is Juggernaut, it makes the player stronger. So what does this actually mean? In zombie mode perks.gsc, it is outlined that your health is set to 160, both your current health and your max health. Max health is the maximum health you can reach with regen, and then health is the actual health that you have. So basically, it just instantly makes your health 160. Anyways, that makes sense because zombies do 60 damage per hit, so essentially Treyarch was like, okay, we'll give you an extra hit, but there's a catch. What they actually did was they also had this function called check for jug perk, which increases your regen. So yes, your health is boosted a little bit, but you would still die in three hits with that health. So this regen function essentially loops every half second forever, and it gets each player, it goes through each player, it checks, do they have Juggernaut? Okay, let's regen them 40 health. If they're already at 160 or higher than 160 somehow, well, let's go back and just stick to 160. Okay, half a second has passed, let's do that again, and again, and this goes on forever. So, that's why players regen so freaking fast on Verrucked and Shinonuma when they have Jug. And that's why you get these crazy clips where people just take a ton of hits, because it's not the same as standard Jug where you have 5 hits to down. It's technically 3, but you regen every half second, and so you're gonna take way more than 5 actually in the end. Oh my god, Mikey. Mikey has a lot. Watch that on stream, watch the stream. Now we get to Shinonuma. Jug remains the same, but the problem is dogs. So, Treyarch wants dogs to be different than normal zombies. They are faster, they are dangerous, they spawn in random spots, but to compensate, we're gonna balance them and make them only do 40 damage to the player. But, uh, we're starting to see a problem now, so that would mean the current Juggernaut is way too overpowered on dog rounds. As you can see, you're regening 40 health every half second, and you take 40 health from a dog, so how is this gonna work? Well, what does Treyarch do? They essentially do this. They say, if it is not a dog round, we're gonna regen that classic 40, but if it is a dog round, let's just do three, okay? So the regen is much slower, and again, that only is going up to 160 health. So remember, dogs do 40 damage, and you're only regening three health, every half second. So that's about 13 times less than normal regen that you're used to with Juggernaut. So when you're fighting zombies, you can anticipate, okay, I'm gonna be regen by now, and the red marks are gone. Even though these red marks aren't even matching entirely with your health value, you just know, okay, I'm back to full health. But with dogs, this is the issue. You can think you're regen, but it's actually so slow during a dog round that you actually might not be full health. And this is why high rounders are always complaining about dogs being glitchy and you dying from like one hit on dog yeah, rounds. Okay, I'm done. So why was this? Well, in this video, I'm not going to go too in depth into how the code works for regen and health by default without any zombie features, but all I will say is that normally in zombies, you've regen all of your health no matter what after three seconds, back to 100. And obviously, when Treyarch included Juggernaut, this threw off the whole thing. You now have to regen back to 160 health. And you can see here on screen, this is what happens if I disable the check for jug function. So you can see that the health sort of glitches out. It sets back to 100 because it doesn't know that your max health should be 160 without that function checking. And then it also will eventually glitch out as you take more damage. Three seconds pass, but you're not back up to 100. So that's why this jug regen function is kind of just like a backup that makes every Everything work no matter what. It's like, okay, we're always just gonna add health and regen. We don't have to worry about rewriting the entire health regen code just because we now have Jug, which has 160 max health. 
Now going back to the gameplay with dogs, it's already hard enough to try to regen with them because they're so fast and they can catch up to you. Now throwing this wrench into the mix of only having slow regen during dog rounds just causes a huge mess. Shinonuma also introduces something else, the Wonder Waff. Now, we all know what this is, it's the first one weapon that does infinite damage, and it looks pretty freaking cool. Now, Treyarch made an entire script file that handles how the Tesla gun or the Wonder Waff works because it has custom effects, sounds, and functionality. So, in this script, Zombie Mode Tesla, if we scroll down, we can find the Tesla PvP thread. Now, this function handles PvP because it's an electric weapon. It's kind of cool that you can shock your teammates and shock yourself with it, even though when you shock your teammates, it doesn't actually do damage. It's just a visual effect. But if you shock yourself, and if we scroll down here, it says if self equals attacker, we do do some damage. Now, Treyarch already had the Wonder Waff do some splash damage by default, sort of like the Ray Gun or other explosives. It does some base damage, but it does this extra damage here. And even if you disable this function, it still will do a little bit of splash damage to you. Now, this right here is the infamous spot of where the Wonder Waff Jug glitch comes from. However, in Shinonuma, it's not such a huge deal because of the way Jug works, which I'll explain after this, but it really becomes a problem in Doris. In game, it's a little bit weird. So, if I shock myself without Jug, and I just have 100 health, you'll see it takes my health down, and it stays down. Until, somehow, if I take damage, it will go back up again, back to 100. I don't know exactly why this is the case, World at War is just a glitchy game at times. What we really care about is what happens with Jug. So let's say we have Jug. Well, remember in Shinonuma, we have the check for Jug function. This is our savior. It prevents any glitchiness from happening with shocking yourself, because we're constantly adding health back to ourselves. For now, all we need to know is that it's not really an issue on Shinonuma. We have this in the background, checking to regen us, no matter what, so even if we shock ourselves, we'll be fine in the end. Duris. Now we have Juggernaut changing. Treyarch realized that old system made people a little too strong, so they removed the fast regen and disabled that function from running. But to compensate, you know, 160 health isn't a whole lot, let's go up to 250. And that is how the system has worked ever since. And again, zombies do 60 damage, dogs do 40 damage, so you can take about 4 hits before dying on the 5th hit. Sure, there aren't as crazy escapes on Doris onwards, but Jug is just much more consistent and balanced, and I think the community agrees this was good in the long run. Now, the reason they probably had this regen function for Jug in the first place was not just to make it a good perk, but also just because the World at War health system was kind of buggy, so they needed a way to ensure that you would regen. But by Doris, they were able to rewrite how damage was dealt and how regen worked, so they no longer needed this, and of course, they realized it was too overpowered anyways. And with this rewrite, they finally accounted for the player having more than 100 health, and that is why now on Doris onwards, whether you're fighting zombies, dogs, you have Jug or you don't have Jug, your health and regen is going to be consistent and balanced. Now, these two things create a perfect storm for what is coming next. The Wonder Walk Jug Glitch. To understand how this bug works, we're going to go back and break down that PvP function, but we have to remember now, we have a more consistent health system, and so when we do that damage with the PvP function, it's going to stay, and we're not going to be able to glitch it back to 100 by getting more damage. Now, let's put everything together and examine what actually happens when you shock yourself on Doris. There are multiple scenarios we're going to test, with Jug and without Jug. It's also important to understand that there are two types of damage going on. The Wonder Wolf does just generic explosive splash damage, similar to other explosive weapons, which is not so glitchy, and then it's also doing this extra Tesla PvP damage, which is glitchy. And that's probably because Treyarch wanted to balance the Tesla gun in a specific way where they did extra damage when you shock yourself because, well, it's an electric weapon. It's not just a normal, you know, grenade that's exploding doing splash damage. We wanted to do things very specifically. However, it didn't work out due to some bugs. Let's go see what happens. So first off, let's look at these situations separately. We have no jug, and we're only doing normal PvP damage in the script. We're not doing any extra splash damage. This is possible by putting yourself in god mode, because in god mode you're not taking any actual damage, but you can still be subtracted from your health. That's not the same as normal damage. That's just strictly in the code, 
and it will happen no matter what mode you're in. So if I zap myself here, it first does minus 25 health. That makes sense. That's 25% of our max health 100. Then we do it again and it puts us to 50. Then we do it again, 25 health. And then finally on our fourth zap, it'll put us to one health because remember when it's running the code, it gets to this part and it says, if you're going to die from this, you're just gonna be set to one health. So then every zap after that doesn't actually do anything. You just stay at one health. So now let's throw Jug on. When we have Jug on, we start at 250 health, we zap ourselves, we get put down to 188, and that makes sense, that's subtracting 25% of our health. Then when we zap ourselves a second time, what's interesting is we get put down to 141 health. The interesting part is that that number that was subtracted, 47 from 188, is 25% of 188. That means the game was treating our newly obtained health of 188 after zapping ourselves as our max health value, which is not true. Our max health is supposed to be 250. So it subtracts that 25% and we get to 141. Then we zap ourselves again and it'll do the same thing down to 106. And then we do that same thing again and we're gonna get down to 80. However, now the next few zaps would calculate to be less than 25 when you do 25% of our max health. So it's just gonna subtract 25. And then finally that takes us to five and then to one because that last zap would have killed us and then every zap after just keeps us at one now we get to the next scenario which is with no pvp function and this is only the generic splash damage that the wonder Wolf deals as an explosive weapon so the first time you zap yourself it puts you down to 25 health it subtracts 75 then every shot afterwards just takes you down one health, which is really weird. So you go 24, then to 23, onwards and onwards, until you get to two where it stops working and you can't even kill yourself. But this is just a really weird situation that would never happen in vanilla. You can't even shoot yourself this many times without regenning because you'll run out of ammo. And of course, this only happens when you disable the PVP code. Next up, we have with jug. So similarly, we'll subtract 75 health. We're down to 175, then another, down to 100, then another, down to 25. And then finally, we just get back to 24, 23, 22 onwards. Now on their own, all of these different scenarios are impossible to get on the vanilla game because I had to manipulate the code just so I could experiment and then put everything together and try to make some sense of it. So let's go and see what the actual Wonder Walk Jug glitch is. So in the vanilla game, when we zap ourselves once without Jug, it'll put us down to one health. That makes us a one hit and we can't regen it. It is treating our new max health as one. So when our health was subtracted and that splash damage was dealt, our new max health value was set to one, which was not intentional. Remember our max health value is supposed to be 100 and we're only supposed to be changing our current health value. You can see in the code that there's no mention of any max health value. Then when we zap ourselves a second time, we die. Now with Jug, we are up to 250 health. The first time we zap ourselves, we get down to 113 health which makes us a two hit, even though we're technically above 100 health. Zombies do 60 damage, so we're still gonna die in two hits. When we zap ourselves a second time, we get down to 10 health. That is a one hit. Then a third time, we get down to one health, which is still a one hit, and then the fourth zap will kill us. Now, of course, that's not counting any zombie damage. Remember, in a game, you're usually likely to zap yourself when you're in a dangerous situation where you're about to get hit by a zombie. So if you get hit by a zombie and then you shock yourself, it's even worse. You're probably just going to be a one hit right away. For example, if you have Jug and you get hit once and then zap yourself, you are taken down to 52 health, making you a one hit. Now, this is definitely the most common situation that people find themselves in. And that's why there's always some confusion about whether it makes you a one hit or a two hit or what exactly happens. It always depends on the situation. Now, what about the upgraded Wonder Woff? Does this make a difference? No, it actually doesn't. Now, I didn't know this until I made the video, but nothing for the Tesla gun actually really changes when you upgrade it other than its ammo. Obviously, there's cosmetic changes, but in terms of how much damage it deals, it's still exactly the same. So any rumor that the upgraded Wonder Wolf makes you a one hit and then the normal Wonder Wolf makes you a two hit is completely false. What likely happened was that it was a coincidence when they had the upgraded Wonder Wolf and then they shot themselves after being hit, which made them a one hit or they zap themselves twice. I mean, the Wonder Wolf upgraded has more ammo, it's more likely to happen. So now let's try to make some sense of this. Why does it put us to one health when we have no jug on the vanilla game? Well, that is because we're doing the two things at once. First, when you zap yourself, the game runs in a sequential order. Not everything happens at the exact same time, obviously. So the first thing to mathematically happen is that you are set to 25 health. 
because that's the splash damage that is immediately happening first when you shoot yourself. Then, immediately after that, the code is going to run and say, okay, you have 25 health, 25% of your max health is 25, 25 minus 25 is going to put you to zero, so let's set you to one health. And that is the last thing to happen in the sequential order, but our max health wasn't changed, so why are we still at one? We should be regening. Well, in World at War, the engine is just glitchy. If you don't specify your max health while subtracting health from a player, your max health will also be reset to whatever your new health is. So right here, when it says we're subtracting health from the player and reaching a new health, that new health is also going to be our max health because the developer did not specify our max health in the same code. Now, in future games, this was fixed to where your max health is constant and you don't have to worry about constantly setting it every time because you're just messing with the normal health and you shouldn't have to worry about your max health. I mean, that makes sense, but in World at War, that wasn't the case. The developer making this code probably didn't realize this because, I mean, he shouldn't have to. It's not his fault. Max health should not be set if you're not actually changing the variable. In the code, he didn't change the variable, so max health should have been fine. But, of course, like I said, it's a glitch and it changed on accident. What's interesting is, if we take a look at some code from Campaign, we can see that for Death Card code, which messed with uh, regen and health, I'm not sure exactly what this was for, but in one of these effects where they wanted to subtract an add from your health, they remember to say, okay, let's also specify the max health and set it to this variable called SAV, I assume that's to save it. So they save the max health, then they do their editing of the health, adding or subtracting, and then at the end they circle back and say, okay, remember, keep our max health at this saved value. So if we had done that in this Tesla function, we could have fixed everything. Now let's see what happens with Jug. So we have 250 health. Our max health is multiplied by 0.25 to see what 25% of it is. So 25% of 250 is 62.5. So that's the number we're gonna remember. So first, like the last situation, we're gonna subtract our generic splash damage as always. So that's an easy, simple minus 75. That takes us to 175 health. And then, remember that value I was just talking about, we subtract it, the 62.5, we take away from 175, and that brings us to 113. So it's the exact same situation, and it makes perfect sense. Then, for our second zap, we can say, what is 25% of 113, our new max health? Well, that's 28.25. So we take that number, and then we also take, again, as always, our generic splash damage of 75, which totals to 103.25. So 113 minus 103 takes us to 10 health, making us a one hit. And now we don't even have to bother with all the math. We know that if we zap ourselves another time, it's gonna put us to less than zero, which means we're just gonna set our health to one. So now the last question is, how do we actually die when we're at one health? Remember, the PVP function says, if we're gonna lose more health than we have putting us below one, just set us to one. So that code shouldn't let us die. But this goes back to the sequential order that I was talking about. That's not the first thing that happens when you zap yourselves. The first thing that happens is you take your generic splash damage. And so right off the bat, when we have one health, we zap ourselves, it subtracts one because we're less than 25, putting us at zero, killing us. Now, just to explain that again, remember, when we had PvP disabled, we could only subtract 75, putting us to 25 health, and then every shot after just subtracted one. So 24, 23, 22. But then it wasn't working once I got to like two, it just would put me back up. But this is different. We're past two and we're at one. So for whatever reason, it allows us to subtract one again, and that just puts us at zero, killing us. And the same thing, of course, happens without Jug. So that is how the Wonder Wolf not only kills you after zapping yourself several times with Jug or twice without Jug, but it is also how it resets your max health value, which stops you from regening any further. However, while I can't regen back up to my original health of, say, 250, I still do have the ability to regen in some form. So what I mean by that is if you watch this clip, you can see that while I'm stuck at 113, when I get hit, I still can regen back up to that level of 113. It just won't go any higher than that. So why do they do it this way? We can see that adding or subtracting from a player's health with scripts can cause issues in World at War just because it's a quirky engine and if you don't set the max health every step of the way, it'll cause issues. Normally, other weapons like the ray gun or the Panzer Shrek deal their own splash damage and I don't know why they didn't just do that for the Wonderwolf. It's possible that in the Wonderwolf's case they wanted to explicitly state 
what the splash damage would be in every situation depending on your health. But ultimately, the real reason is they are developing the Wonder Waff on Shinonuma, which if you've been paying attention to this video, you'll remember that what does Shinonuma have? It has the fast regen. So when they were developing the Wonder Waff and testing out the splash damage, they probably went and got Jug when doing it because obviously players are going to have Jug the majority of the game. And when you have Jug, this isn't a bug, it works fine. And so they probably didn't check every scenario. Again, like many have said, World at War Zombies was developed in a huge rush and they didn't have time to just fix every little bug. Okay, so can you bypass the bug and can you avoid it? Well, not really. You just have to not zap yourself. That's the only way. There's multiple ways to play with the Wonder Waff that are much more safe, so ensuring that you don't get close to zombies. You can also make sure to lead your shots against zombies. I've seen players like Krups do this, where they don't shoot directly at the zombie when they're close to them, they shoot at the ground next to them because they know that shooting the Wonder Waff within a certain radius from a zombie will still connect with it, even though it's not directly shot on a zombie. Okay, and so that leaves the last way to get rid of the bug, which is to hard reset your health. Now, how can you do this? You can do it by downing or by buying Jug. Those are the only two ways where you can actually reset your max health value. Remember, when you down, no matter what health you get put to below zero, zero, when you get put into last stand, and then when you get revived, your health is reset back to 100. So this can be done in co-op however many times you want. If you zap yourself, it's all right, and then you can buy Jug afterwards. Now in solo, unfortunately, you can't down yourself to reset your health, so all you can do is just buy Jug, which will hard reset your health up to 250, no matter what you're stuck at before. But that means then, once you've bought Jug for the first time, and the last time, if you zap yourself, you won't be able to do anything about it unless you restart your game. Let's just fix this freaking bug. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna add a new statement that happens after we subtract our health. It's gonna say, if we have Jug, set our max health again to 250. Otherwise, set it to 100. So no matter what, if we don't have Jug, it will always set our max health back to 100 at the end. And then, you know, if we have Jug, 250. Anyways, that's it. Bug is fixed. Took me five seconds to fix. Now I know a lot of custom mappers have fixed this by commenting out this whole statement. Now, true, that fixes the bug as well, but it doesn't retain the additional damage that a shock does to yourself. Because again, like I said, Trek wanted to balance the Wonder Waff shock to have certain values of damage. You know, I don't really know what the whole thought process is, but if you just comment it out, you're not going to actually retain that damage, and you won't be able to actually kill yourself with the Waff, which I think you should be able to do. And, you know, you should be able to regen your health too, though, but it's still a dangerous weapon. If you shock yourself two or three times, you're probably going to die. If you'd like to try the Wonder Waff with this bug finally fixed, feel free to download the mod in the description. I have a remaster mod available for Duris and Shinonuma with the other maps on the way. Essentially what these mods are, are not just for fixing the Wonder Waff, but fixing all of the common bugs in World at War and giving a more polished experience, including some new content like cut guns and cut voice lines that were never included in the final game. Thank you guys for watching, I'm going to have more videos like this in the future talking about mysterious features of World at War. Maybe we'll get to Black Ops 1, but for now we're sticking to World at War. Definitely leave a comment down below if you want to suggest any features that you found confusing or bugs that you're curious about learning how they worked.